Hey guys, Movie Digest here. Today we will be looking at the 2001 sci-fi movie Planet of the Apes. Spoilers ahead. An ape named Blues operates the space commands of a small pod. Something goes awry and Blues panics. An astronaut, Leo Davidson, opens the hatch and presents himself. He cheers up Blues after the incident. Leo goes back to the main quarters and checks up with his girlfriend. Leo receives a virtual postcard from his friends and what they are up to. It appears they are having a great time. In the middle of the message the spaceship lights begin malfunctioning and suddenly shuts off. Leo goes to the operating room, where he is told of a volatile storm that is near, and the commander tells him to get Blues ready to take a look. Leo requests going out himself, but is denied, and Leo immediately jumps into a space pod to find him, his commander still unaware. The commander finds out he's orbited space, Leo then states to him, never let a monkey do a man's job. He loses signal with him, spacecraft malfunctions, and suddenly lands himself in the river on an unknown planet. He gets out safe after landing, he sees a father with his daughter, he looks around slightly shocked, a group of apes appear, and everyone immediately leaves the area. The apes chase after, and apprehend them, including Captain Leo. Leo looks up, and he finds an ape in armor. The apes attack him unconscious. He wakes up in a cage with all the others. The humans are ridiculed by the apes, but another comes, she feels sympathetic towards them, and tells the others to stop. The apes sort the human slaves into cages. They are aggressively handled, and are ready to receive a marking of a human slave. The sympathetic ape appears, and stops the ritual. Leo picks up the branding tool, and takes her hostage. She tells them to bring Leo to her home. But she claims that Leo is different, and shows interest in him. The lady ape's name is Ari. Leo becomes their slave, and serves the ape's dinner. They discuss sterilizing the humans, to get rid of them. The ape from the army, trips Leo while he's serving dinner, and takes him forcefully, opens his mouth, and asks if there's a soul in there. The ape army commander goes to meet with Ari. We find out they had some sort of past relationship, and the commander tries to profess his love to her. He forcefully pins her against the wall, angrily telling her why she cares for the humans, and not him so much. Leo lockpicks the door of the cage, and escapes with the lady in his cell. The ape commander and his subordinates go out, and he takes him by surprise, bludgeoning them in the head while they have their backs turned. Leo and the lady go to break out her family, reach the living quarters where the little girl lives, and they take her back with him. Leo grabs Ari, but he is stopped by another. Leo asks Ari for help. She tells him the location where they can escape to. The ape army chases them, and the father of the lady aggressively tries to attack, but is easily overpowered. He's murdered by the ape commander. Ari tries to cheer up the girl after her father died, but she aggressively pulls her hand back. They reach a body of water, and they realize the apes cannot swim. Leo picks something out from the water. It's Leo's supply bag he lost when he got onto the planet. With weaponry and supplies, he pulls out a messenger where you can transmit to the ship. He receives contact from the ship. They are attacked, and some of them are comprehended. Leo pulls out his weapon, and fires a warning shot. The ape tries to grab a weapon but Leo notices, and shoots it off. They take him, and apprehend him. The ape commander asks the king for power to exterminate all humans, but the king just walks away. The ape commander goes to his ailing father which he shockingly reveals that long ago. The humans were the dominant species on the planet, and the apes were the slaves. His father asks him to break a vase, which is holding a gun. He states that this is the power of the humans, and that the apes have no chance against them, and tells him that he needs to apprehend Leo, before he reaches the sanctuary, that shows the truth of their beginnings. The ape commander promises to stop him, his father passes away. Leo and the others proceed on horseback, and raid an ape army base. The apes fight back, but Leo manages to escape with Ari. The ape commander freaks out, and realizes he now has the lead of all of the army, since his father has passed away. Leo and the crew arrive at the spaceship. Leo sees a human skull in the dirt, and is shocked. Ari mentioned that the ruins are from years ago. Leo emphasizes that he was just there a couple days ago. He activates the spaceship, and looks through the database. He sees the logs from the past. We see the crew mentioning that they're looking for Leo, and that they met highly intelligent species on the planet when they crash landed. They were then attacked by the apes. Leo and everyone walks outside, and all the humans gather around Leo. Leo is stunned, they tell them it's because they've heard the stories of the man who defied the apes. Leo commands them to fall back because they can't win against them. Leo and the girl share a moment together. Ari gets jealous when she caresses Leo. Ari visits the ape commander, telling him she wants to be with him. The ape commander doesn't bite, and stabs her hand with the tool that brands humans as slaves. Claiming that she will die with the humans. Leo gathers all the humans to fight against the apes. An explosion occurs, and it takes down some of the ape army. Leo orders an ambush, and they start attacking. They battle against one another. Ari saves the girl from the battle. She sees that Ari has been branded as a human and looks at her empathetically. The ape commander confronts Leo. 
and he pins him down onto the ground and attacks him. Suddenly a light in the sky appears. It's a spaceship, and everyone looks on. The spaceship makes its dramatic entrance, and slowly opens. It seems to be someone in an astronaut suit. As he walks out, and takes off his mask, it turns out to be Blues. The apes worship him as a god. Leo leads Blues somewhere but is attacked by the commander. Leo tries to save him by shooting the commander. The ape commander gets a hold of the weapon. He aims it at Leo, but before he manages to shoot, Leo presses and engages the spacebot, locking the ape commander. The ape commander yells at his fellow subordinate, warning him that the humans will make them their slaves. Leo says to him that it was the commander's ancestors, who killed everybody, and that they lived in peace before that. He tries to appeal to Ari, but she shows her hand, with the branding of the human. Ape commander panics, and tries to shoot the pod furiously, he realizes he has nothing else he can do, and looks on in horror. They mourn the fallen apes and human soldiers collectively, showing that there is peace on the planet. Leo gives blues to Ari, Ari says she'll make sure to take care of him. Leo goes to the ship, and sees that there's still a signal. As he prepares to leave, Ari asks him to stay, but he refuses, and she's noticeably disheartened. She tells him that there will be legends told about him in his name. He lifts off into space, and goes back into the purple storm that got him onto the planet in the first place. He sees Earth in the distance. Crash land into the water then walk towards what looks like a memorial. He finds a statue. It appears to be the one of Abraham Lincoln. But he looks on in shock, as we see it has become that of the ape commanders. The police, reporters and firefighters arrive, and they've all become apes. The planet that he was on all along, was actually Earth itself. That has now become, the planet of the apes. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for the next video.